somebody leaves you and comes back and you just left me to marry and when the marriage got tougher and tougher you are coming back foul through men marry with their eyes whereas women they marry with their ears so when it comes to communication those of you who are wise be careful the way you dress in the night when my wife and i go into a uh, bed the way she dress her dress is trying to talk to me and so wives you must know that your body belongs to jesus and your own husband it's a sin for you to sleep with a strange woman apart from your wife if you say i'm not in the mood what do you mean if you are not in the mood he is in the mood now give it to him so you have about four billion women you are supposed to marry one the whole world is at your disposal don't make mistake why will you go for somebody's leftover don't go for leftover you are wondering thinking and seeking answers are you single married or in a relationship do you have challenges bringing up your children in the godly way do you have challenges in your marriage then join us this very saturday and every other saturday at 7 pm on family matters peace chapel facebook live and your family will take a good turn family matters redefining your homes when you read the bible do you have understanding do you have the skills to interpret the bible can you apply the bible correctly to your daily life the bible is god's word but not everyone that reads the bible understand the bible is god's manual for living the bible is profitable living the bible is a book of sources acts chapter 8 31 philip asked ethiopian you know do you understand what you are reading he replied how can i unless someone guides me all you need to do is to search peace chapel facebook live you can have the skills and proper interpretation and understanding to catapult your life to the next level. Peace Online Bible School is here to make you fall deeply in love with the Word of God. Join us this and every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and you will be equipped for glory. Peace. Shalom. Amazing Word. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decision without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel International, our Father's House. Peace. Shalom. Amazing web. Hello, good evening. You are welcome to Family Matters, brought to you by Peace Chapel International. We are happy to see you. I am happy to have you online today. And for today's program, let's wait. We will go for a quick break. When we come back, you will know what is on for Family Matters today. God bless you for staying tuned. Don't forget to share. If somebody leaves you and comes back and you just left me to marry and when the marriage got tougher and tougher you are coming back foul through men marry with their eyes whereas women they marry with their ears so when it comes to communication those of you who are wise be careful the way you dress in the night when my wife and I go into a uh, bed, the way she dress, her dress is trying to talk to me. And so wives, you must know that your body belongs to Jesus and your own husband. It's a sin for you to sleep with a strange woman apart from your wife. If you say, I'm not in the mood, what do you mean? If you are not in the mood, he is in the mood now. Give it to him. So you have about four billion women. You are supposed to marry one. The whole world is at your disposal. Don't make mistake. Why would you go for somebody's leftover? 
Don't vote for left over. You are wondering, thinking and seeking answers. Are you single, married, or in a relationship? Do you have challenges bringing up your children in the godly way? Do you have challenges in your marriage? Then join us this very Saturday and every other Saturday at 7 p.m. on Family Matters, Peace Chapel, Facebook Live, and your family will take a good turn. Family Matters, redefining your homes. Thank you for staying with us. This is Family Matters, brought to you by Peace Chapel International. Saturday evenings get even better only when you tune in on Family Matters. My name is Constance Olekibakete and I am your host for today's episode of Family Matters. Before we continue, I humbly plead with you, if you are watching, kindly like the page, share, create a watch party. Remember to invite a friend. Just share the link to a neighbor, a relative. You might never know what they are going through and what a word from the man of God is going to do in their lives. God bless you so much for heeding to this advice and the plea. I also want you to kindly send questions concerning today's topic to 055-459-2569. 055-459-2569. Thank you so much. So we are talking about phones in relationship, the issue of phones in relationship. Phone has become a very big part of everyone. You and I, we have school on phones, we have businesses on phones, we have our banks on phones. We virtually do everything with our phones. And before we realize, it is taking the personal and the physical interactions that we should have with our partners away. And now the phones have become our partners. What is phone doing to our relationships? So today, we have the seasoned man of God, a counselor to be precise. We have counselors and we have counselors. We have a man of God who is blessed by God and actually his main area is marriage. He's here in the person of Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo, the General Overseer of Peace Chapel International. He's here with us. Bishop, you are welcome to Family Matters. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Daddy. God bless you too for coming. We are privileged to have you. It's a blessing to talk, come here and share with us. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much, Bishop. All right. So, Bishop, today we are talking about the issue of phones in relationships. The issue of phones in relationships. So, I want to ask the first question a viewer sent me about phone. Then we'll, con we'll proceed from there. So, this viewer said, my husband was in the bathroom, and an unknown number called. I picked up, and it was his side chick, who didn't know he was married. I responded, I have been waiting, and, and she responded, I have been waiting for you. I ended the call quietly, and I'm hurting. What do I do? Mavis from U.S. So this is the case study. Mm. It's a blessing that uh, science and technology is leading our world, mm -hmm. which includes uh, usage of phones. Mm -hmm. I mean, gone were the day, like, let's say, 30 years ago, my wife and I we were doing like waiting for shit. It was not like in the phone. Mm -hmm. So we just write letters and uh, talk to people who are not a friend, a partner. Yes. 
tension and stress mm -hmm. and depression in relationship. In relationship. Like this one. Here you are, you have somebody called your own body, you pick it. Mm -hmm. And this one will be here. What are you going to do? The simple thing that all the phone is good, but it can become destructive. Yes. Unfortunately, we won't be as we are. Every time God give us a we will be mm. we will mm. And so, uh, what I would say is that, number one, ladies, either you are in a relationship with your boyfriend, or you are dating, you are in cousin, mm -hmm. or you are a wife. A common sense must tell you that it is not bad to take your own mouthful, but don't try. Be sure. Yes. Because at times, it's not easy mm. at all. It's not easy at all, right? So, mm. uh, Okay, Bishop, there, there are some comments. Let me, let me read the comments. Thank you to our viewers who are watching. Um, from Michael Sasu, he says, oh, okay. Bishop, I can't hear Papa's voice. Okay, so we, we'll work on it very soon. Don't call Josephine. Okay. All right, all right. So they are all complaining that they can't hear. We are rectifying it. Thank you all so much. I'm taking my... No smacks off. Yes. Okay. So let's go. Okay. I think that, that's good. And yeah. We have intervention. Mm -hmm. Now, so as I was saying, the advice is very, very simple. Why will you... Because as some people, they do a form of interference. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm sure our technical team, everyone is wearing their own. So mm. it's important. And, you know, I just want to follow... The, the protocol. So what I would say is that phone is a good tool. Mm -hmm. It's a, a good device for relationship, mm -hmm. for security and many, many things. Mm -hmm. that is, that, uh, disadvantages are many. One is the tendency for wives to check messages on their friends or their partners or their husband's, husband's phone. phone it's not the best i am i'm going to explain okay because for example mm -hmm. so maybe at times in the group when someone just send a message mm. i love you mm. what are you going to do <laughs> probably the person doesn't mean what he's saying that's the thing mm. right so what i'm saying is that it is not bad if you go and check your whole man phone. Mm -hmm. But for me, common sense is don't try. Times women you have listen. So women are too inquisitive. Mm -hmm. For example, when you get uh, like a call has come, and it may be a business partner. I'm trying to say that we we, we can avoid stress mm -hmm. and depressing, mm -hmm. right? If you try to forego or some of this because mm -hmm. there are some messages on read. It doesn't work. What's going on? Right? There are some messages when you read, it is going to give you stress or depression. Mm. Yeah, so if I'm, I'm saying they say prevent it, prevention is better, better than, than cure. cure. So, Monique and you, mm. you don't use your own mouth for it's not a sin. Okay. But the challenge I'm saying that, like psychic thing, the truth is that mm. I've said on this platform, mm. if the husband is wrong, Charismatic Pentecostal Christian who going to go to heaven, having such a to some people it's a normal thing hmm. in this world that we live. Okay. Although it's evil, mm. because from scriptures, let's say uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, mm -hmm. the Bible says we should honor marriage, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do it, uh, God is going to bring judgment. Okay. But the truth is that most people are not giving that kind of value mm. and honor to marriage. Mm -hmm. So we are saying this side check things, some people think it's a normal thing. Why mm. honor will you have a wife and you still have a side check? So I'm saying to the woman number one, if it is possible, mind your business. And uh, if you your nobody wants to talk to your husband and you know that this is not your call, when you take the phone, bring you to your husband. Mm. Yes, I'm not saying Men should cheat, but it will prevent you from stress, depression, and maybe he was in the washroom. Uh -huh. He was in the washroom, yes, maybe bathing, and then this number kept calling. See, so the wife had to pick up, 
And I see that in the one way that because she didn't pick up because she had any mindset or like being in this. I didn't say it's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Why would you listen to me? Because if you know that if it's in a, a bad thing, mm-hmm. wait, when it comes. But we have to make a situation. You never know what your experience is. Well, I am telling you, from my experience, phone is a good device in relationship. But I'm trying to save people from BP and depression and many, many things because it's not even from some people. And whether you like it or not, we are living in a world that faithfulness is scarce in relationship. We must accept that fact. It must not be so. But that's the reality. So we I'm saying that there's something wrong. For example, I don't have anything secret. My wife can take my phone, even here in the church, including yourself, everybody around us take, right? So I will never say that husband must hide anything. Mm-hmm. But some of these things I do real that we can never overlook at it. So I'm saying yes, in this instance, like this side tick that this girl uh, the wife I took the phone and uh, she received and then had something that she don't want to say. It's not her fault. But I'm just going deeper by saying if somebody calls and it's not your call, wait for the person to do who the, the person calls so that when he comes, he addresses it. Can you imagine even in my case? At times, mommy at, in the house, some people call. I, I barely give my phone out. It's not something I do. But, you know, because of the work we do, social media, Facebook, TV, some people still have opportunity to take, call me. But when they call, I'm looking for Bishop. And the man will say, Bishop is busy, either praying or doing something. Some people, they just cut off. They don't communicate again. And it has become everyday thing. I don't have a problem if my wife with my phone every day. But you see, there are some women, uh, other people, I don't know whether they want to create problem or whatever they are. Why will you stop talking if my wife is uh, talking to you. So I'm saying phone is a good device, mm. but it can be very problematic. It depends on the usage, the content, and the idea. And the, yeah, 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 no phone, we are what And the, I, I just want to say, yeah, my phone, no, my phone, no, my phone, no, my phone, no, no, my phone, no, but there's nothing wrong if you, uh, you cross and then you take your spouse phone. But the only thing I'm saying is that if you want to read messages, who call your husband, who call your wife, those things not the best. And I'm not only addressing uh, the wives. The husband should have some husband too. They are inquisitive. They want to know who called you today and other stuff. Why will you do that? There might be trust in the relationship. If there's trust, I know, for example, if somebody is talking to my wife, um, what is it? What's my problem? Because you have built a trust. So let's have build trust. If trust is there, whoever calls or whoever doesn't call is not a problem. Okay. Bishop, with the issue of trust, we'll get there. But there was a question from Mr. Michael Sassou. He says, Please, what should I do when my wife is busy playing game on her phone whilst I'm discussing an issue with her? Okay. So before I end this one, I'll go to this question. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, as for the phones, it's a good device. But it might be you must be very careful the way we handle it. Mm. If you think that going to your husband or your wife will bring problem, don't go. And then those of us who have side cheeks too, it's not the best. Why would you do such a thing? It's wrong. It's, wrong. it's evil. Mm. And so let me address that one. So that nobody say, well, Bishop says it's a... It's uh, after this, I say it's evil. Mm. God hates this. Mm. It's anti-scripture. Mm. It's a demoter. It's suicidal. Mm-hmm. But the reality is that people are doing it. Because people are doing it doesn't make it correct. Mm-hmm. But you should avoid it. That's what I'm saying. And I'm also saying that since it can bring problems, you must be able to have tactical or strategy way, tactical way for us to avoid the tension that phone calls will bring to us. That's my first uh, uh, comment. Mm-hmm. Now, if your, your spouse, you want to talk to your spouse, and is busy playing games, it's, it's not the best. Why will you do that? Because... The most important thing in your life, apart from God, is your wife or your husband. Mm. And so if the phone is taking uh, her position or his position, it is not the best. So what you need to do is that when it happens like that, hello, darling, I'm talking to you, please. Can you give me 30 minutes? Everything has its time. Mm. 
Mm. And if he doesn't mind you, let him finish it and probably get a time that you can get his attention or attention and address it. And uh, whoever does that is not the best. Mm. But I know it, the reality is that there are some people, they are too glued to their phone. Yes, they are because there are a lot of situations where like 247, a husband or a wife is with her phone because they are working. And then it takes away the fellowship time or the relationship time they are supposed to have with their, even their children. They are working on the phone. Yes. Yes, everything has its time. Listen, God in heaven created us. Mm -hmm. When he created us, he used six days to create us. Mm -hmm. And he rested one day. So there is a rule. Maybe this will be one of my commandments. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, you know, God gave the Israelites ten commandments. Mm -hmm. It is uh, applicable to Christians to some degree. Mm -hmm. Let's say, uh, honor your father and mother and other stuff. Those things are applicable. Whether you are New Testament Christian. But the legalism and other stuff, the Jesus has uh, done something about it. But every husband must be able to give his wife one day as a Sabbath for the wife and children. <laughs> Bishop, every husband. Every husband must be able to create one Sabbath day for his yes, family. For his family. Very wow. important. Wow. So work for six days, mm -hmm. but give your spouse and your children one day. Mm. If that happens, it will help solve the problems. So that you, the wife, might be able to know that everything has its time. Mm -hmm. A time to work. And a time to uh, make lobby lobby uh, become romantic and other stuff. Mm. So, what I'm saying is that because at times, people even work in their own home, especially the coronavirus, mm -hmm. the advice is that if a husband makes sure you give one day mm. as your Sabbath, that day it's for your wife and children. Mm -hmm. It can be Sunday after church. Now you go to church two hours, maybe let's say by 12 o'clock you're at home. The whole day, put your phone off, off. and then give your wife attention. Mm -hmm. Give your children attention. Very important. And mm -hmm. this must be uh, something that you must be intentional about it. It won't come on silver platter. I was so bold. I was so bold. I was so bold. I At least, I was so bold. I was so bold. I was so bold. Okay, sorry, upon seven five seven peace chapel here over here by eleven o'clock, two service, we are done. Whatever you go to church, I'm sure by twelve you are done. Mm. So from twelve, let's say from one to six o'clock, five hours. Mm. Quality time. Look at the face of your wife. Put your phone down. Mm. That is your Sabbath. And spend time with and your spend children. time. For example, mm. by the grace of God, what the work we do every day we come here and that's but I realize half Things in my house. I have a son who is 18. I have a daughter who is 15. Mm. You know, Christo and Chief. So what I do is that three times a week, I go out with them like two hours. Before I come to the office, let's say 8 in the morning, we walk. And the tenders are not only the exercise, okay. but the communication and the rapport. Because these are things and there are some questions mm. in their mind that I must be there for them. Mm -hmm. So although I come to office every day, but three times a week. So if let's say two, two, two hours, I have six hours for them. And I'm for of my media. If you are giving for they work together other stuff. But everybody is different. You can use my experience. But I'm saying, no matter who who you are, even if you are the president of the nation, mm. there might be a day for your wife. Don't tell me you are too busy. Are you the president? Okay. Give your wife and your children one Sabbath day. Rest that day and give them attention. Let them talk to you. And that day, no phone calls. Mm. It will help. Thank you so much, Bishop. I want to apologize to for all the mishaps we had earlier on with our sound. Thank you so much for drawing our attention to it. I want to appreciate all of you watching. Thank you so much for your time with Family Matters. I see you, Chioma Chioma Kwame Miki. He says, that's my bishop, full of wisdom. Chioma Chioma says, wow, a wonderful father. Thank you so much. Grace Amwa Apia is watching. Don't call, Josephine is also watching. Thank you all so much. Much love from Peace Chapel International. Bishop, with the issue of privacy, is there any such thing as privacy in marriage? The what? reason why I ask is about putting passwords on your phones. For me, mm. Bible says the two shall be one. Okay. Mark 10, 9. Mm -hmm. 
Matthew 19, 4 to 9. What is privacy? If you marry, hey, what are you talking about? Give me a break. Mm. Looking at the Bible, God is the marriage maker. And in the beginning, there was no privacy uh, between Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. See, people must put value on marriage. Okay. Do you know that marriage is the oldest institution of the world? The in the world. Oldest institution. Oldest institution. It's been older than even sin. God wow. created man, Genesis 1 mm -hmm. and chapter 2. God established marriage. Chapter 3, mm -hmm. sin was introduced wow. to the world. So marriage is the oldest mm -hmm. and the first thing mm -hmm. God established. We must be able to put premium and value oh. to marriage as wow. institution. Wow. Jesus Christ, the first miracle he performed was at a marriage ceremony. Marriage ceremony. Mm -hmm. And the first invitation that Jesus honored was with it? his family was also at wow. marriage relationship. Wow. So marriage wow. ought to be celebrated mm -hmm. and give premium and value, value. to marriage. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? I have said it here before. If God himself decided to tell the Israelites and ask yes. the kind of woman or man you should marry, Deuteronomy 7, 3, Deuteronomy 7, 3, mm. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Mm -hmm. So when it, the, the issue of privacy, mm. it's not that here or there. Yeah. Genesis 2, 24, 25. Genesis 24, 25. The first marriage, there was no, the Bible said there was transparency. Both of them were naked. Mm. So let's go back to the Bible and see God's idea. If you marry the two, shall be one. So what are you talking about? Okay, what's the most important thing in a man's life? The most important in your life is your soul, okay. your body, and your spirit. Mm -hmm. Matthew, 9, Matthew 16, 26, 16, 26. Here you are, you have married. And in the night, you sleep. And when you sleep, you are helplessly helpless. Mm. You have given, if you permit me, your life to your spouse. And you are naked. Mm. You sleep with your wife. You sleep with your husband. So what are you talking about? Privacy. The most important thing you have given to your partner. Mm. What about your phone? What about your phone? So for me, I will never say it's evil if you put password. Mm. For example, maybe somebody can take your phone and just read anything. Mm. But your password might be known by your, spouse. by your children, your wife first. Mm. And your children, even your peers, in case you have people like that. So that in case of anything. Yes. But the evil thing is that when you have password, mm. like I told you three weeks ago, somebody's a wife was looking for uh, her own husband's password. He tried the whole day. And the husband's wife said, My password is Zerubbabel. <laughs> Can you imagine? That bad number here, you, you spell Z, Z U, B. No, no, they are changed. Mm. So don't do anything like you are hiding something from your That's partner. That's what creates the mistrust. That's the thing. Mm. So let everything be transparent. For me, in marriage, there's no secrecy. There's no, secrecy. There's no privacy. Mm. If you want to be private, don't marry. Mm. If you don't want to share your your life with a woman or man, why are you giving problem getting married to somebody? Mm -hmm. So it's evil it's if you practice, practice privacy in my relationship. Wow. It's a sin. Mm. Thank you very much, Bishop. Um, well said. There's another question I want us to look at. My boyfriend always wants me to go, always wants to go through my phone and ask about every male friend I chat with. Can I not have a male friend when dating? This is with those cotton. Okay, listen. Mm. Every woman, every young girl hear the sound of my voice. Mm -hmm. When a man proposes to you, okay, and the man is serious, mm. be careful. In other words, don't take his instruction lightly, okay. because marriage, in a way, although officially it begins after wedding, mm. but if both of you are too serious about your relationship, yes. somehow mm -hmm. something has taken place. Because I read the Bible the last time I checked in the book of Malachi. Okay. The Bible said God is a witness mm. to the, the, the wife of your youth. In a mm. way, when you propose to somebody that you want to marry her and you are serious, there's a form of divine recognition. Okay. And the, we share a Bible, a piece of Bible, now you're serious. One for the same thing, you might say, oh, I don't know. Okay. And the, also, I'm a guy. What the friends say, why? Me meant to ask you. Say, I'll be so bad, what? And then anytime you say, oh, my friend, are you correct? <laughs> Give me a break now. What is friend? 
Okay. Obi so be wara no yo zero so there. Tie no. So I'm just trying to give a general answer. Listen to any man who is serious because you know his level of seriousness. Any playboy. Okay. If he's serious, listen to him. And for me, it is not advisable to have friends. Now, there's, you know, we have casual friends. Yes, we have schoolmates. We uh, have friends at yes. work. But chatting with them for what? Well, uh, hello, hi. A anything can bring up a conversation. Yes, but to what extent? Mm. Because for me, if it is, oh, hello, how are you? I am okay. That's mm. it. But here you are, you have like 30 minutes, an hour with your friend. Okay. What are you, what are you trying to uh, insinuate? You know, so why are you creating tension for this poor young man? Because, you know, at times you are not helping yourself. And at times they say, oh, my friend, my beautiful friend, before realize something bad has happened. Okay. I am not saying if you do that, you are sinning against God. But you are not helping your relationship, mm. especially in the beginning, in the foundation period. Mm. If the man is serious, he wants to marry you, listen to his advice. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't like you chatting with guys, so to speak, listen. So it's a general thing I'm saying. Okay, so Bishop already the person is saying that he he goes through her phone every time. Is that is that not already um, a sign of not trusting her, even at the courtship stage? Well, it depends on the person in question. Maybe this person has uh, tried to depict something. Something has that given room, uh, for... room for doubt. Mm. And if you do mm. that, then the man will check. The man will mm. check. I have never. I don't think there is a, any day I will take my wife phone to check. No. It's not a problem. Because you trust her. No, as a matter of fact, in our, in our, although we don't have this commandment in our house, but anytime he's on phone, he's last speaker. Wow. So at times he'll be joking with people, and the people, he said, and then I will respond. They will say, ah, no you fear. I will not say any secret. <laughs> and at times, you know, like church members, mm. daughters, and brothers and sisters, mm. they'll be chatting, hey, mama, eh, dada, dada. And, I, and then I will like, so at times, oh, they, they are talking to her. But and then I'll just interrupt. Mm. Hey, nah, 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 oh, and I, <laughs> she'll reply, there's no secret. And mm. that's what we do. Mm. So anytime somebody suspects you, it simply means that you have given him or her something to be suspected. Mm. That's why you need to live a life of transparency. Mm. Be a man of integrity. Matthew 537. They are more suspect. When you call another question to toilet, so why mean ye? Yes. You have a when you call. Who do you know Who do you know who free? Any a guru? Eh, friend, you are sick. That means that there is something. Yes, something, something wrong. Mm. Then, yeah, who oh, is suspect? Who oh, is suspect? Mm. And the truth is that your wife, for God's sake, cannot go through be around you and listen to your conversation. What is so special, mm. secretive about that person who is calling you? There was a time be some people came here because of phone. The wife had been beaten by the husband. Phone keke. Mm. Who are mm. you to take my phone? Who are you to take my phone? So people are beating their spouse because of phone, and it's so uh, bad. You must not do that. Mm -hmm. It's not the best. Thank you very much, Bishop. I, I actually know of um, a couple who have synchronized the f their phones in such a way that whatever message the husband gets, the woman gets. And whatever message or call the woman gets, the husband gets. And I believe that this is a mutual understanding they both they come have, Yes, uh -huh. yes, you are right. It, I don't think that is bad at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it depends on what they do, if that will work. Just that uh, in marriage, you got to be careful that some things, that some aspect of behavior that work for some people, some people. it doesn't work for some mm -hmm. people. So you got to know who you are mm -hmm. and the person in question. Mm -hmm. And to, I'm, I'm saying now, of late, say now, Obi a be a obi test message be anako mama ho. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean messages mama will listen and then <laughs> that's quit. nice. Yeah, I won't feel an abano and now he was and then I said I intend to do that. Wow. Yeah, Michelle and yes, the call be a emia WhatsApp onya messenger onya and then that's hey. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean there's no problem. It's Ro a blessing. Romantic uh, bishop. I did romantic <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so viewers, so far we've been talking about the issue of phone in relationships. We've had two case studies. A case study of a woman picking up the phone of her husband who was in the washroom. And Bishop is saying, it's no wise. Do well to avoid it. Although there is nothing um, to hide. 
if there is anything to hide, that's where there is a cause for um, keeping things um, secret between husband and wife. And Bishop also says about the courtship, if the man or the woman, Bishop, you didn't even talk about the uh, And both too. of you, uh -huh. in most cases, them, you see, you don't propose. Okay. We do the proposal. So we, so, we can bring um, some rules to... Oh, you can. But I'm saying, mm. you are the woman, you are the girl, mm -hmm. and then somebody has proposed to you. And you are saying, you are looking to the fact that you have friends in school. Yes. And so you are, because you are a wise woman, you got to know who is it. Is, is, is it a playboy? Okay. Is he a playboy or is he serious? Okay. If he's serious, I'm saying general answer. Mm. Listen to him. Okay. Including when he says, don't go, don't do this. Mm. I'm not saying the man must be rigid. There might be a form of flexibility, flexibility. in your relationship. Yes. But listen to him. Mm. Yeah. And he should also listen to you. Okay, thank you very much, Bishop. From Nana Boache Foster, he says, Deep teachings. God bless you, Bishop. Watching you live from Brussels, Belgium. Wow. Reverend Dapa is watching. God bless you, Reverend Cecilia. I'll say Mensa is watching. Citizen Ras. Hey, and <laughs> I, can't, I can't mention the rest of the name. But, and Loretta Odro are watching with you. Thank you so much. Aglanu Enoch. Hey, Aglanu. Hello, Aglanu. He says, hello, Agabus. God bless your good work. Nice program. Thank you so much. Edna Entry. I'm really learning. God bless you. All right. I think that, uh, you know, Kwame Miki is on the line. Okay. And Kwame Miki is uh, one of the foundation members of this church, though he's in the U.S. now. Mm. Kwame Miki, God bless you. Today is your birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. On behalf of Peach Chapel International, the leadership, executive council, mm. Kwame Miki. The younger producer in Ghana some time ago. Today, I don't know whether he's the youngest. Wow. But now he's a big man. Wow. Kwame, you and Rita, God bless you oh, okay. uh, for joining us. And uh, we pray that God mm. will give you another 70 years. Mm. More blessing to your go. Amen. May you have divine uh, blessing, blessing from Jehovah. God blessings, bless you. Blessings. And all of you are celebrating your birthday. God bless you. Mm. Okay, let's continue. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Bishop for bringing this in. Bishop, let's quickly talk about social media. You know, of late, social media has been very productive. All right. It has been a blessing to churches, has been a blessing to um, workplaces. We have Zoom, we have um, Facebook, we have WhatsApp, we have meetings, even school. We sometimes have it on WhatsApp, Zoom, and uh, what have you. But with social media, some um spouses or partners have issue with it in the sense that her husband or his wife posts other people on their status or on their um, timeline without posting their spouses or partners and is bringing up issues what can you say about that well hmm. i see it's the same thing like the phone mm -hmm. social media is good mm -hmm. you have a way of transmitting information, information across board and many more. Mm. But there must be a limit. Okay. If we are using social media, there are some people, they go to the, let's say, f social media and they are, check, uh, they are chatting with strange people, mm. looking at strange people's nakedness. Yes, yes. And yes. this is a married man. Mm. And there are some married women too, they even do a, a form of rapport with other guys. And at times, they also send their naked pictures. Now, there is a rule that I want to tell the young people. Okay. If you are single, mm. never give a man who wants to marry you mm. your naked pictures. Mm. Never try. Wow. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Your naked pictures, because mm. at times, it becomes a scare. A sky in your life. Yes. People can blackmail you. You never know where you, you get to. You never know. That's the thing. Life. And again... Mm -hmm. anything it goes to the internet it's forever mm. let's say you use your phone and then you take a picture mm -hmm. and you send to somebody send to someone it is forever mm. and you never know tomorrow you're going to be president mm. vice president mm -hmm. vice chancellor mm. or a pastor here you are you're going to be first lady mm. or general overseer mm. as a woman and your nude pictures are already in yes town. so 
social media is good. Mm -hmm. So young people, in case you are hearing the sound of my voice, okay. if I have not married a man, mm. and I don't care who he is, mm. never send your naked picture, picture to a man mm -hmm. who has not married you. Mm. And even if somebody has married you, if you are sending naked pictures, don't use social media. <laughs> It's a serious, well, you know. Mm. Social media is a serious thing. Because this one, some people are controlling it though. Yes. It's a device. And I even heard of a mistake. A woman was, a married woman was sending a nude picture to her husband. And, then, and it was sent to the church platform. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? For mm. so me, yes. I mean, going over the day, you may not have understand all this thing. But common sense must tell you, if it is a uh, baby... You are sending your naked picture mm. to your spouse mm -hmm. outside the country. Mm -hmm. If you can post it or something somehow, mm. it will be the best. Mm -hmm. But if it's social media, well, I will never do that. Sending, let's say I've traveled. Why will I send my naked picture to my wife through social media? <laughs> okay, now, I mean, there's another good thing. A, you can use your phone Face to time. talk. Yes. Now, first time, I don't know whether that one across somebody's watching. Eh? You never are, know who is controlling know. it. So you got to be careful. You must, you must be tactical on that. Hey. The truth is that your nakedness, dear, mm. don't try to share it like that. Uh -huh. Maybe somebody has done it before. May God forgive all yes. of us because you didn't know. And may God hide it. Uh, and may, wherever uh, it is. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. But the common, common sense is let us be careful the way we use social media. Mm. If we're a married man mm -hmm. and you go to social media, why are you going to see other people's nakedness? Oh, I hear it. I'm going to force me. I'm going to force to now go away. I don't know where you are. I took a fine command. I don't know. I'll be grabbed by Reverend Jesus Christ. I said, Mr. Minka. There we go. I should say it. Somebody came to Reverend and said, I'm going to go to my home. 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 <laughs> so you go to social media and all you do is you are looking at some people's nakedness. It's evil. If it's you go to evil. the book of Job, Job made a decision that he will never use his eye to see anything see. evil. Mm. A child of God, be careful because before God, actions are weighed. And not only the men, mm -hmm. the women too. Mm -hmm. You like, I tell some people, they are too loose. Hmm. They just go there and then somebody will just use a name and they are chatting, and yeah. they believe in them. Online dating. Online dating. Yes. I will never say it's evil, mm -hmm. but I have not done. I have not done the research, but it appears some were sociopath pretenders. Mm. Some have been deceived, and some have been yes. cheated yes. because of that. Yes, yes. Able to me, over while we be face to face, Babu. Yeah. So for me. It's good to use social media. Mm. It's a blessing. Mm. Transmission of information from one end to another within a second. Today, there is a virtual letter come away. But just be careful okay. about the way you go and what you do. What you do there. And don't forget tomorrow. Right now, you know that if you want to go and assess visa, mm. let's say you are here as a Ghanaian mm -hmm. and you want to travel to the States. Mm. When you apply visa, before you go to interview, they will check your social media, your status, the information. They have opportunity, they have all the device to check. Yeah, because they even take your, your email address. That's again, so the kind of name you, you use, people you chat with them mm. and other stuff. Mm -hmm. And at times they will say no because of that. Wow. So even the name, some people they will use, here you are, you are Ghanaian. Your name is Kwabunan Ketia. And then you yourself, I am Kwabunan Mugabi. <laughs> and then I am Saddam Hussein. <laughs> ah, hey. So social media is good. Let tell you, prop, I mean properly. In other words, take it, do research, learn. Mm. Right now, oh, for me like this, oh, it's a blessing. Yeah. As a pastor, I want to uh, see what is happening in mm. churches, like here in Ghana. We have great men of God, great women of God. Mm. The kind of revivals they are doing. I listen to them and I pray to God. Which one that it can help us? Because according to scriptures, you must imitate, imitate what, what is, is good. good. People too are also looking at, onto us. Mm. But people call me Bishop, quotation of Mante. <laughs> Even this morning, peace of people are saying, we need to, you to give all that. Mm. So why I'm learning from other places, other, other people are learning. learning. The world has become a, a, glo a, 
a small village is a globally Global everything village. is happening mm. anywhere mm. so there are advantages on this one mm -hmm. unfortunately people are using the advantage or be my water for okay now i got social media now i should save your bath of rotto now we need to the only and you are a christian you are even a pastor mm. and some people they flat on social media yes but this is a warning to all of us including myself mm. god is watching mm. And if you're a married person, be careful what you do. Yeah. Because God is watching. Okay. Because anytime you deviate, mm. you're trying to dishonor your marriage, there are going to be more consequences. And those of you who are singles, be careful about the way you transport your body and your pictures overboard. Mm. And Bishop, not only that, they're posting. That's what I'm saying. They're posting as in a married couple and the wife or the husband is complaining that she always posts another man. I don't what? know if you get it. Post it on, where? on status. Oh, that one is uh -huh. the, uh, the, the status, phone or yes, something. Yes. Oh, so let's say I, I have a wife uh -huh. and instead of putting my wife something, wife there, I put somebody, somebody else on my lady, phone yes. on the status. status. Hey, that's a yeah. serious thing. Mm -hmm. That is a form of uh, insult mm. to your wife. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you have a daughter in the Lord and other stuff, especially the opposite sex. Mm. If you have a husband mm. and you want to put somebody on your status, what are you trying to communicate? Oh, 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 And then those of you who are even not married, you got to be careful, people that you put them there. Mm. Because maybe somebody's eyeing you <laughs> and they want to come. And here you are, you are sending people's picture here and there. <laughs> if somebody is your father in the Lord or your parents, that's a different thing. But then you're careful. Mm. <laughs> and again, I became by saying, this marriage, if it will work, it depends on us. Depends. I, this, I've realized, I have realized that marriage is a work. And if you want your marriage to work, mm. it is not up to God. Mm. It's up to you okay. as a husband and a wife. Yes, it's not up to God. If you are a young person, you are single, you want to have a enjoyable marriage, it's you. Mm. The kind of choice or you choices make. you make. And if you're a married woman, a wife, mm. husband, married man, if you're married, you work. It is not God, it is you. Wow. The decisions you take. Mm -hmm. Let's say, if you're a wife, mm -hmm. be a wife. Stay. Where you are supposed yes, to Yes, where you belong. Mm. And let the husband so be. Let him be. But at times, people will cross carpet. Mm. You are a wife or you want to be a husband. It will work, Abby. It will work. Oh. <laughs> so, do let me okay. my wife for. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Bishop. Thank you to my lovely viewers. Um, Dozi Toblu says, too blessed and great, my Bishop. Watching you live from Tema, God bless you. Mariam, your boss says, God bless you, Papa. Don't call Josephine, never. God bless you, Joseph. Amando, I'm really enjoying the program because, because of phone. Hmm. It's a long story. Chris, success is watching. Okay, God bless you. Thank you so much. So today, viewers, I want you to know that you are part of the show. Kindly bring in your questions, your comments on the phone issue. And Bishop is about to take us through some commandments. He says that there are commandments in marriage relationship, both for the married and the singles. So let's, let's hear Bishop out as he gives us the commandments. All right. Mm. <laughs> mm. uh, you know the Bible, Ezra chapter twenty. Mm -hmm. Ezra twenty, when uh, God, you know, He delivered Ezra lies, and they were going to Canaan land. Mm. On the way, He gave them commandments, mm -hmm. the rules and regulations, the do's and don'ts. It, in other words, in this world, in this life, you can't live a life without boundaries. Wow. There must be boundaries. In other words, you might have your own personal philosophy, psychology, mm. what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. If you live anyhow without boundaries, you lose uh, your future. Listen, if you have no proper definition, you can never have destination. Sure. No definition, <laughs> no destination. No destination. Okay. Definition means mm -hmm. I am Kwabanadofo. Mm -hmm. Peach Chapel has made him, God has used Peach Chapel to make me their pastor. Okay. I must know who am I, who I am. so that I know where I'm going. Mm. That's the freezing. Mm. So, young girl, 
you have not married. Okay. You must define your status. Okay. So that it helps you to have a good future. Okay. So we are beginning with the singles. Yes. Mm. So let's begin. So I'm just, I was just giving the uh, introduction to what I'm going to say. Okay. That in life, mm. whether you are single or married, you need to have rules that must undergird your life. Don't just mm. live anyhow. Mm. You are dumb as you are under grace, but even in Christ, we have commandment to love mm -hmm. each other. So, there's a commandment or a rule that I want to give to my daughters. Okay. And Go one ahead. is coming right quick. All right. Number one, as a young girl who has not married, mm. thou shalt not stay mm -hmm. with a man who has not paid your bad price. Stay, as in live. Yes. That's a, no, a young girl who have not married. That this is my commandment for you. This must be your rule. Mm. That's a no leave or stay with a man who has not paid your, your bride price. price. Mm. Because as I'm talking to you now, there are hundreds and thousands of young girls who have not married, but they behave like wives. They are already performing their wifely duties. What are you doing for God's sake? They are preparing. We are not preparing. You are destroying your future. You are destroying your future. Mm. Now, apart from God dislike your attitude and behavior, mm. you are not helping yourself. Okay. You begin to cook for the man. You sweep. He has come to do knocking. What is knocking? Meaning are knocking. knocking. Don't allow any point. Listen, mm. traditionally, mm -hmm. some things were accepted. Okay. But in Christ, mm. the knocking might be done the same day that the marriage is coming to take place. Or, wow. if somebody says, I want to travel to Russia, Moscow, mm -hmm. and uh, Oleki, you have uh, your sister or your friend. I want to go and uh, probably introduce myself See. to the family that I'm going to marry her the next two years. And then the people will say, well, then do something. Okay, $200, 1,000 pounds, or 100 Ghana, 200 dollars. Yes, take it for cook. Mm. The man is going. Okay. That is acceptable. Mm. But here you are, you are in the same country, the same Ghana, or whatever you are here, <laughs> the son of my voice. Mm -hmm. And they say, okay. And then here you are, you, you take your, your, your bag. bag and you pack into the house. It is non starter. You are not helping your future. Mm. And somebody will get that well, Bishop. Somebody has done it to it as well for them. Yeah. That's somebody's uh, exceptional. Don't use exceptional as a norm. Rule number one to every young girl. Every young girl. Never pack and live with a man who has, who has not paid your, your bride, bride price. price. Make it your rule. Don't give that opportunity to the man because mm. if you do that, you have reduced your womanhood. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Ah, now, listen. Men, you know, we value things that is hidden. When it's open, we don't value it anymore. Mm. So, if you don't stay for the man to pay your bride price, mm. you begin to beg the man. And most marriages today, mm. Mm. because the foundation was poor and weak, Wow. That become a problematic. Our Rebbe Enya Deno, and Pranchi, I'm the Sass, you know. Yamene mm. Boniche, but Ube Triaka. Yeah. So, rule number one, don't do, don't do that. And to the boys. Okay. The young to men. The men. The men. Mm. Now, your boys, your men. Mm, gentlemen. The gentlemen who have no married, rule number one for you. Mm -hmm. Don't spend money mm. on a woman who have no married. Be sure. But I want to, you uh -huh. can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the guests will come and do some coup against me. Yes, yes. You can mm -hmm. support him in a support her in a way, mm -hmm. but don't pay her school fees. Don't take her to go and learn trade. Mm. That's not correct. I've not married you now. Okay, but Bishop, you you have you want to make a future with this lady, uh -huh. and maybe she's going through a hard time. Yes. So you need to support her as a man. As the man, you have the Maybe door. Listen, so before you have, I, I came to your life, what are you doing God with your life? God has brought you into my life. Yes, but listen. Mm. Unfortunately, mm. here, this part of the world, I don't know America, I don't know Europe, mm -hmm. I don't know Asia. Mm -hmm. 
some men have taken advantage of their wives because of lack of purchasing power. Because some wives, they, they, they are too over-dependent mm. on their spouses. Mm. And yet, or by who ye mare o fansa ye juma. Si ye juma, pe bidi bi ye, and support yourself. Because somebody came to my office. Mm. Young man has not married. He allowed me, so I can use as illustration. Okay. He He's a carpenter. Good. I mean, you see pokers, pokers, everybody needs me. Nimo nimo. Uh, now I try to give reference to him. This young man just began as learning a carpentry work and he has audacity to sponsor a girl that he wants to marry to Legon. Wow. Now the girl has graduated. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even have SSS certificate. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why mm. So now the girl is saying, you are not my size. And this guy wants to kill himself. Oh, the Who girl didn't that? do well. And the girl didn't do well. But there are some cases. No, no, don't say that. He didn't have a commandment. There was no boundaries in his life. Mm. It's evil to support a woman to that level. If he has not, have not married. married her. It's not good. Mm. So young man, if I hear the sound of my voice, commandment for you. Don't spend much money on a woman, on a woman you have not married. married. In case she needs some support. Mm. I mean, oh, and that one year need 200 Ghana be uh, and you're bad. Media prevents you know, because <laughs> it will break your heart. And the truth is, if you are not educated, why we want to sponsor someone to become educated? That's not your wife. If you educate a woman, you educate uh, the woman. Oh, yeah, <laughs> education, they, not that one. Educate a woman that you have married. Mm. Wait, oh, wait. And I'm saying this to, to the young woman. Commandment number two. Mm -hmm. Don't spend money on the man that has not married you. Oh, okay. And then you're, oh, okay. You that one, you are yeah, biased. No, Bishop. You are biased. Bishop, the same vein uh -huh. as you say that, um, Oba, Oba, Fanny Kunetia, I say, Yen Dano. In the same vein, if you compare it to this one, it's a bit normal. For uh, a man uh, who wants to get married to the woman to spend, and but and uh, and they're, they're normal. normal. Why uh -huh. are they more? Yeah. Well, anyway, whether you agree or not, mm. we, I'm saying this are small, small things that if we take it very seriously, important, it will mm. help us mm. because in most cases, you know, the kind of work we do, we hear more issues. Mm. Mm. And then some people go instead of I uh, taking care of the uh, the, the man to be. Parents, parents, yes, sacrificing, sacrificing, doing shopping for them. Mm. Ah, something is wrong with your head. I even know of a lady that gave herself to other men just to support the man and his Now, when you're bored, I'm not Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, where is Jimmy completely? You give yourself to a man mm. and other people, to, men to sleep with you, yes, to support a man you are going to marry. P parents. parents, this is madness. Mm, to even give the man an opportunity in the workplace, the boss asks the girlfriend to sleep with her, and she did well anyway that one <laughs> I, that's that's bad anyway so i am i want to mm. because i'm going to hit the uh, commandment for the married people so mm. the young people i'm it's talking about the money. singles the young men and the young men mm. commandments i've given three mm -hmm. that two for the young women don't go and live with a man mm. who has not married you mm -hmm. so right now in case we are living with that man pack and go back to your home. Oh. If you don't have anywhere going, call Peace Chapel International, our resident pastor. <laughs> Reverend. Reverend Apa. <laughs> he, uh, God has blessed him. He has houses mm. and some places for you. Mm. Because it's not good. Mm. Listen, a woman, you are special. Um, a woman, you are envied by heaven. Wow. When you are a man, you reduce yourself for a man. Okay. No, again, we're proud. Bema ngwaro zo nya wa onya okra o tinika o ba wari awie na sabi sabi eni am ai basa e dey as e me hey lord oh lord but i tell you marry your private part many bad things are going in there oh your friends here e kwa o enya the best and then support a man that you have not married him no the same way your man if you want to marry young girl she has difficulties we can support but mm. don't take responsibility, absolutely. Mm. 
mm. because you want to marry her. Taking her to school, taking her to learn a trade, mm. giving her money for capital. Mm. That's not right. Because okay. eventually, not friend, not every friend and in relationship, but eventually when it happens like that, but you may have good. crisis. And that is not God. It is you. Mm. That's why I said earlier on that marriage, gossip, dating, mm. if it will work, it is not God. It is it you is and you. I. Hard the work. decisions and the choices mm. we make. Mm. So per this information, let's begin to amend our way. Mm. It's possible. Okay. Very, very vital. Mm. So let's go to the married people. Bishop, before that, let's, let's recap what you said about the singles. Go ahead. The commandments. So viewers, if you are watching, Bishop has given single people some commandments. The first and foremost, he said, as a lady don't move into the house or don't stay with a man who hasn't married you yet no matter what the situation may be don't move into the house of a man and stay there and perform wifely duties whilst he's not yet married to you this is the principle he says you should set boundaries as a woman and then for the men he says that if you've not married a lady don't spend so much money on her says in a year now i'm on a bare thousand ghana <laughs> i said that i said 200 ghana 200 ghana is a bishop uh, okay. the so I, I didn't say that one is from you <laughs> it is your commandment no it's not my commandment <laughs> <laughs> so he's saying that both men and women um ladies and gentlemen when you are in courtship or relationship do all not to spend overspend on your partner. I tell you, have going one to more you. so that it becomes two two. Okay. Okay. The young men. Okay. If you want to marry, mm. the commandment is that don't marry somebody that you are older than more than ten years. Mm. Yes, young man. If you want to marry a girl, a girl, your commandment number two is that don't marry any girl that you are older than more than ten years. Ten years. Why am I saying Reasons. that? The Bible. Abraham was mm. older than Sarah 10 years. Mm. The Bible, Adam was created before Eve. Okay. So, don't marry any woman you are more than. So, I'm using Abraham and Sarah as a case study. Mm. Because the Bible says, Isaiah 51 2, we should imitate, look unto Abraham and learn from him. Mm. Isaiah 51 2. So, we can learn the good things of Abraham. Mm -hmm. He was older than Sarah 10 years. Don't mm. marry. Any woman that comes with the way that you are older than more than 10 years is not the best. Mm. Many, many factors ought to be considered. And uh, that's what I would say. So this is purely for the men. Okay. Yeah. Mr. William Annan says, Bishop, I think the Holy Spirit must assist us to make the right decisions for you to assist a partner get, mar get married first. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. William. Bishop. All right. So now let's go to uh, the commandment for married. for married. Yes. Mm -hmm. One first commandment for married couples. Mm -hmm. Both wife and husband. Mm -hmm. Every husband, you must try to forgive your wife every day, 70 times 7. Every day. Every day. Uh, hey. Hmm. Forgive your spouse so let's use this spouse so it becomes both both husband and wife each one of us must make this a rule Decision. that i must forgive my spouse 70 times a day a day 70 times seven a day 70 times seven a day meaning hey. you must forgive her 490 times a day just a day this is from jesus <laughs> now what am i saying this mm. In married relationship, mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. people are bitter, they have grudges, they are stressed, they are depressed because of unforgiveness mm. that they are trying to uh, portray. Mm -hmm. Scripture says that God through Jesus forgave our sins. So we must forgive. Mm. You have married to a human being. He's not an angel. Yes. And the capacity to, uh, to uh, make mistakes and hurt you, offend you, every day is there. It's there. So if you don't create this heart, every day you are going to suffer mm. unnecessary. A man ma ye huwa me te. A man su huwa je. A man ma huwa. Ah ha ha. I know you can't home. They say I'm going to look for another man 
who assist the host because it will be an album by us. It will be very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the truth is that mm. LP, human beings are human beings. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't do everything right so far as my wife is concerned. No. Mm. She too. She doesn't do everything. I, because you know, but we have decided to go by this way. Okay. So peradventure, something happened that I don't like. I've already forgiven her. Ahead of time. Yes. And that must be the rule in every relationship. Wow. Our dear baby, no, and the gentleman will say, Obama wants to say, Bema anymore. Obama, yes, Obama. It won't work. Bitterness. Bitterness. Mm. Hatred. You sleep the same compound, mm. the same room, the same bed, mm. and you don't talk. What is wrong with you? And at times, because God has blessed you, you have a big bed, and you have eight pillows, and you put them in the middle. Mm. At the greater half hour, <laughs> baby. Or if you have master room, eh? and eh? That's a thing. So, we are saying, make a rule. A rule to forgive To your forgive spouse. your spouse for 70 times, seven a day. A meaning, day. every day, create that heart. To forgive your spouse okay. for you to take a pen mm. and to write, yes, and upon can say, or no, come me or you say, okay, now we are. So, we are saying, let us practice mm. forgiveness. This is mutual, mutual. Both of us. okay. So, right now, in case somebody, your wife or husband has hurt has you, offended you, or something has happened mm. negatively, mm. look unto Jesus, Father, forgive them. Mm. Because they don't know what they are doing. Well, Luke 23, 34. Okay. So forgive your spouse. Mm. That must be a rule. That must be able to guide both of you. Mm. And if you can sincerely, genuinely, expressly mm. forgive your spouse, you can enjoy your marriage. marriage. Major on the strength. On the strength. And manage mm. the weakness of mm. your spouse. It will help you. Okay. So if you are watching right now and you are a spouse or a couple and... There is any misunderstanding whatsoever. Bishop says, Fashion is seer, forgive, and let's move on. Dwell on the positive sides of your spouse. Mrs. Esther Marie says, I think it is the character of the woman that matters because you can educate your wife and still and she will still leave you. Okay. Thank you so much. Mrs. Esther Marie. Uh, okay, so she say the woman that yes. Yes. That's yes. the point. So that's why, yes, I I agree mm. with her. We are trying to, you see, prevent people from heartbreaks. Yes. Yeah, for me, mm -hmm. I will encourage mm -hmm. every husband to support his mm -hmm. wife to mm -hmm. become anything that wife wants to become. Mm -hmm. But some of these cases, it's not the best. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, she's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bishop, let's continue with the command. All right. The commandment number two. Mm -hmm. Thou shall not speak evil. Mm -hmm. About your wife, even behind her, especially to your family members mm. and your friends. Every husband does not speak evil mm. about your wife to, to your family, family members or, or friends, friends or anybody, even behind her. So, I can't wait to want some money. Actually, I will be able to get some money. And I will be able to So, make it a rule. That yes, I am a husband. Mm -hmm. My wife is not a saint. Mm -hmm. But when she eh, mm -hmm. I must accommodate her. I must know that her flaws are my property. I must be able to hide and protect her. Wow. It's difficult mm -hmm. to do. But this commandment will help you. Hmm. Anytime God speaks, it is to an advantage. Okay. The Bible is a book of profitable living. Mm. The Bible is a book of sources. Mm -hmm. If you follow the instructions, it will help you. What we are doing now, everybody God has called mm. has a mission. Yes. God has called Peace Chapel to use mm. this medium mm -hmm. to bring sanity mm. to relationship and families. Mm. So what I'm doing now, it is for your benefit. Mm. If you say you are too wise and you overlook it, I'm not there. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. So what are we saying? Commandment number two for mm. married couples. Don't speak evil about your spouse wow. to his family, his family, to her family, mm. no matter what they have done. And the flaws of your partner or your spouse, they are your property. They are your property. Keep it, Keep it and protect it. Protect it. 
Because can you imagine? Both of them, husband and wife, are living there, but mm. they have spoiled themselves. So at times, people are there, they don't have value. Mm. Yes. Because one time, my wife and I went to uh, solve some people's problem. Myself, I was amazed, frightened. Then my husband was insulting the wife. We were there. were there. Yes. And I'm like, oh, you're mm. pony on anywhere. And some words I can't use my mouth to mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. And the next day, I saw them together. going together. Ish. Well, I love that one that they <laughs> But I was like, Jesus. There are some words. Mm. No matter how you become angry, don't use it. Mm. Mm. Now, when your wife does something you don't like, it becomes a habit. Mm. And the opposite. If your husband does something behave, you don't like, maybe you said it over time. Over time, and he has no change. Go before your knees first and talk to the marriage maker. His name is Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Make it intentional mm. and mm. pray daily mm. for him. After that, if you go to church, talk mm. to your pastor. Okay. Don't just talk to any pastor because recently some things that I heard from other churches, I don't want to mention anybody church name, I didn't like. So look for a seasonal mm. marriage counselor in your church and talk to him. For us, we are not the best, but by God's grace, we can help a bit. Mm. You can give a number in case you are going through challenges, challenges. and you are not part of this commission. Mm. You are a child of God. You are a child of Our God. mission is that through this church, there might be sanity in family. When mm. you when you say family matters, you say redefine, redefining uh, your homes uh -huh. That's for glory. Vision. Mm. And so I can give our chief marriage counselor, Reverend Dapas, <laughs> number. His number is okay. 0244. You know it. Give it to them. Bishop mentioned. 024461. 6882. Mm, thank you. 0244-616882. Call him. Mm. What am I saying? Whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. the person in question you have married has offended you, is going to offend you. In case he has offended you before and you have not forgiven him, we have given you the commandment forgive. Mm. But there are some people, it's like their habit. Mm. And they don't even care. They, they are they, not changing. They don't hold. When you are crying, they don't care. Wow. I'm saying when it becomes a habit, a mm. continual behavior, mm. go before God and discuss with God that God, I am dying, oh, this man wants to kill me. Mm. My husband is killing me, oh, Jesus, intervene. After much prayer and fasting, mm. and still there's no change, go to your pastor, talk to your pastor's wife, mm. or at times cry in the church, there are elders who are also seizing cancers, and there are some senior madness mm. in the married church. Married people. Married people. Mm. Who, who have experience yes. and are doing well. There are well. some churches, they have, mm. they have even married committee. Please tell we have married committee. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the pastor, the pastor can direct you. To it depends on the, what we are talking about. Yeah. So, it will avoid, it, I mean, to it will avoid. help you. It avoid being telling people your issue. Mm. Because the truth is that, there are some people, when they are in trouble, they can't keep their mouth shut. Mm. Especially wives. Mm. Women. 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 You, because of the way God has wired you, women to be in a press, no? That, that one they understand. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I support. I support it. <laughs> I don't know, Musuba, I don't know. When I'm, uh, your power is your mouth, so you can talk. Yeah. The research I made, every woman, it doesn't matter their age, every girl speaks 25,000 words a day. Oh. About 25,000 wives. About, uh-huh. Wives. <laughs> and ma the men and the guys, about 12,500. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> so I'm saying, yes, mm. although your, your power is your mouth, mm. if it is your marriage, don't tell your mom, okay. Okay. your dad, or your friends. Mm. Talk to God and talk to your pastor talk or to elder God. or some seniors in your church. Mm. Yeah. Mickey Darling says, what a word. God bless you, Daddy. William Annanen says, Bishop, our forefathers did not know Bible, <laughs> but their marriages succeeded. <laughs> wow. Michael Sasu says, hmm, Asemo, I wish this woman is here to listen. Hey. <laughs> Asemi na Bishop Akobosi. Okay. Bishop, so commandments. Okay, Bishop, before... Okay. Bishop, let's continue with the commandments. Yeah, so I want to repeat it again. Make a rule. Mm. 
as a husband as a husband or as a wife as a wife not to say anything bad mm -hmm. about your spouse to your friend to or to your, your family. family never discuss your spouse behind him or her to any friend or family member don't do it don't make him or her a subject matter don't ridicule your marriage and yadipa oh no you didn't take now so you like to grow for no one's our one and they are that's the commandment make mm. a rule no matter the enormity of the issue at stake your parents your family members and your friends must never hear okay watch this if we are see a way mm. if you have opportunity to know the person you are going to discuss his marriage, her marriage, both of the other cry. But you know, pastors and elders are people, they are like people God has given to us mm. to shepherd, to lead us. Mm. That's why I said, talk to God first, oh, mm. because it is likely God can intervene and He may intervene by touching the heart of, of your, your spouse. spouse. But if you see that it is still pending on the, your spouse, has no mm. change. It is mm. eating you up. Mm. As someone will be to me now, mm. call your pastor. It will help. But don't talk to family members. Mm. You never know what challenges they are even going through. And, and they can't share. And wow. Commandments, commandments, commandments. Commandments for the family. This is what we've been talking about for the second um, part of today's show. So Bishop has given commandments to husbands or to spouses. And saying the first thing is that you forgive your spouse even before they hurt you. So forgive, as the Bible says, 77 times 7. Hmm. So if you'll be able to take a pen and a paper and record each um, hurt or if each wrong of your spouse and counts, then it's up to you. But all he's saying is make a decision to forgive just to make your marriage work and to make you happy in the marriage. Now he says the second one is um, as... Spouses, Bishop, can you help me with yes. that? Yes. The first one is forgive. The second forgive one, one is that is never discuss mm -hmm. your never marriage discuss or your say marriage. anything evil to your family or friends about your, mm. your spouse. Go down on your knees first. Pray about it. Let God intervene. Before, if um, you want to speak to someone, maybe for an advice, he has given out a number we are very very available the church peace chapel international we have season um counselors marriage committee people who are ready more than ready to support you and this is our aim to redefine our homes for the glory of god god bless you so much bishop bishop do you want to yes commander mm -hmm. and after this i'll go to the singers as well okay. husband and wife that's are not compare your spouse. Wait, let's say husband. Mm. That's how not compare your wife mm. with another woman, even mm. your mother. Mm. Wow. That's how not compare your husband to any man, even, even your, your father. father. Second Corinthians 10, 12, 10, 12. I would say those who compare them, so they are not wise. They are not wise. Bible, they say be mm. Or say, so they, they want to talk of them. Mm. Go to the Bible. Mm. Every man or woman is wired differently. Mm -hmm. People demeanor, courtesy, manners differs. Mm. People have different uh, personality and temperament. When I also pay you, who chose your uh, your spouse? You did the choice. Mm. Why are you blaming and then trying to compare? Comparison is evil. I look it's at evil. the Bible; it has never happened to anybody. Mm. When you are a and for what the end will be the end, oh, now what is the mobia the uncle? I want to say, Mobia the uncle, the uncle, the you will be fear and say, Obedia, yes, the baby, the media, who did in a mania, yeah, yeah, can guy, a car can near twenty eight, near quarter, yeah, fifty, yeah, go sixty, seventy eight, amen, you ate a bamsia, you are quite heavy. What will it be as I, yeah. But if you have a bros, you call heaven. When you go around and travel, listen. It is easy to compare mm -hmm. because you know there are some people they they are play people and they are so so bad. In other words, out there, outside, 
they will come and I, hey, hello, honey. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. Mm. Kofi, you correct. There have been people in church mm. that they come to church as if their marriage is the best. Why are you, why are you doing that? And so, that's the only thing you have seen. The other time when I, I went to Peace FM and I was like, me and my wife, we have had a challenge. They were like, wow, what is yes. mm. Why are we surprised? Am I God? <laughs> I'm married to a human being. Mm. I have my flaws. She has a flaw, but we have decided to overrule mm -hmm. our flaws for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. And so I major on her strength. She majors on my strength. We manage our weaknesses. So we are moving on. Mm. Every day we are happy. What do I want to do with you? I want to be in it. Maybe say, who is that? I want to be in Oh, yes. It's what you say. Me hard way, me chere me home. Ah, okay. Because over so TV, that's Aye. the truth. <laughs> if you do this, I don't like this. I don't. That's all. Oh, I mean, okay. Yes, sir. Sir, and my wife is here. My wife is here. Oh, oh, oh. And you know, I was here. 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 I don't see. Me too. I get to know. Yes, and so people, they be so fond of you. Hey, can you tolerate me? Because sometimes I will tell if you, I want to eat Tom Brown. Mm. Maybe the day that I'm eating. And after Tom Brown say, I don't like, I want O's. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. And so you need to put this on somewhere, and that's a thing. Mm. And then we are in the room. Maybe I'm relaxing, reading the Bible. Uh, I want her to put the light off. The prong is around me. I'll just call, come and do it. Hey. Hey, now I can. <laughs> you can't marry. Be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, yeah, you can't marry one second. Mm. Yes, I thought I'd be a person be, be pulling a leg. I want to pull a leg, say, or that's what you can announce, Bishop Adolfo. Now, what's it? No, hey, that is the whole idea. And so, no, I bet. Uh huh. Comparison is no good. <laughs> hey, don't try, cry. Maybe I'm traveling. Mm. I don't want to eat outside. Mm. And then, you know, maybe if I'm really fast, I'm going to break. So, maybe 4 a.m., 3 a.m., if I'm traveling. Oh, you didn't tell me. Go and make me a soup and some breakfast. At that line. time. At that time. She will just wake up and then put something, organize herself and do some small thing for me. I'll put it in the car. I drive. Aye. 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 And they will see you as a person who is a bishop. Master. Process to the one. Oh, be powerful. Be powerful. When you are more powerful from. So I'm trying to give example mm. by saying never compare mm. your marriage. Your marriage. To Don't anyone. do it. It might be a rule. Mm. Yes. We are told to Im emulate Imitate, imitate what and is emulate good. what mm. is good. That's not bad. So let's say my wife and I traveled to states. We saw a man mm -hmm. who was married like 94 years. I'm like, Jesus, mm. I need it. Mm. I even knelt down. It's not, it was not a pastor. Wow. Church elder. I knelt down. I mm. said, sir, pray for me. I need the grace. And I asked him, why are you able to do that? And another man told me, my wife and I he said, I love Christ. Wow. Jesus. Wow. If you love God, you can love somebody. Okay. So I took that one. Mm. But mm. for you to see somebody out there, we we get a man here. We we a man So you compare. You compare. When ya, or maybe the same dress, color yellow, color yellow. Hey. I don't know open. Couples. Couples <laughs> color. Couples go. Yo, when ya, we go for your go. I tell you, even if you throw me a So mm. what are we saying? Yeah. Marriage. It doesn't matter how your husband married to you. Mm. It's not accidental. Mm -hmm. Before our bed, God demarcated the boundaries, the boundaries of, our of our habitation. God knows you before you were born. Mm. So right now, mm -hmm. if there are work about your spouse, pray mm. and work at it. Don't mm. forget, for marriage to become enjoyable, don't say God will mm. do. You must do. You must do. With the help of God. Mm. Don't compare your marriage mm. to anybody. Okay. The only man that man so much ah, the baby has the Daniel sir. Now you say when you are wearing camping, when you are, the only man that man so much ah. That is why those of you who are young people, who do be some, who do be spend a man sure. Take it easy. Take okay. your time. Don't be hurry. In a hurry at and all. So that your choice may be one and for all. No matter the choice you are going to make. Hey. It's still. Still challenge. Who mm. are so full? Or so full about? Or do you want my whole jar and go to the big crowd? Chris of what we crowd here, ding, a jail we are for just that when some people are in church, marrying them with the baby because Jesus is there and the Bible and the pastors. But people who are out there, they don't have anything up in them. So, no comparison. Our time is almost up. Okay.
will run up. Okay. So thank you so much, viewers, for watching. Mr. Michael Sasu says, hmm, asamo. Okay. William Anani says, don't compare your marriages. Very well said. Michael Sasu says, thank you, Bishop, for this commandment. So, so far, it's been wonderful. We began with phones, the issue of phones in relationship. And then we came down to commandments. So with the phones, we had a case study. And Bishop spoke about privacy in marriage. Study your spouse. What will work for you in your home? What will work for you in your relationship? If your spouse is okay with you going through their phones, why not? Can you handle going through the, the phone of your spouse? If not, please advise yourself. And then we came to the commandments. Commandments for ladies. Don't move into the home of a man if he hasn't married you. And for married people, don't compare your marriages to other people. These and many more have we spoken about. God bless you all. God bless you, Bishop from Zico, Alex. Thank you so much for your time. We love you so much. We want to remind you that tomorrow is a powerful Sunday service. And it's going on live here on um, Peace Chap at Peace Chapel International, at the premises of Peace Chapel International. You don't want to miss out for anything. Wherever you are, if you can, do well to join us. Even if you are far, join us online on um, Facebook, Peace Chapel, and we'll be live. It will be a blessing, powerful word, powerful time of prayer. We want to remind you that on Monday um, evening at 7 to 8.30, and on Thursdays at 7 to 8.30, we have Peace Online Bible School, which is very free, and is going to teach you the in-depth word, the in-depth knowledge of the word of God. And we, we bring the Bible close to you we make it very practical do well to join don't forget that from monday to saturday peace chapel comes your way during lunch time at work 12 p.m to 1 p.m ghana time do well to join is a powerful prayer time we are making time for prayers which is very very um, important because everything is about prayer take it to the lord in prayer and he will do don't forget that saturday, saturday evenings are always the best when family matters comes your way and don't forget that peace chapel is very grateful and we thank you so much for your support and for your love and for your kindness keep watching god bless you so until we meet again family matters says bye for now god bless you if somebody leaves you and comes back and you just left me to marry and when the marriage got tougher and tougher, you are coming back. Found through. Men marry with their eyes. Whereas women, they marry with their ears. So when it comes to communication, those of you who are wise, be careful the way you dress in the night. When my wife and I go into a uh, bed, the way she dress, her dress is trying to talk to me. And so wise, you must know that your body belongs to Jesus and your own husband. It's a sin for you to sleep with a strange woman apart from your wife. If you say, I'm not in the mood, what do you mean? If you are not in the mood, he is in the mood now. Give it to him. So you have about four billion women. You are supposed to marry one. The whole world is at your disposal. Don't make a mistake. Why would you go for somebody's leftover? Don't go for leftover. You are wondering, thinking and seeking answers. Are you single, married, or in a relationship? You have challenges bringing up your children in the godly way. You have challenges in your marriage. Then join us this very Saturday and every other Saturday at 7 p.m. on Family Matters. Peace Chapel, Facebook Live, and your family will take a good turn. Family Matters, redefining your homes. Jesus, your source. Don't make decision without him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate UTV Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra. Opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's House. Peace. Shalom. Amazing.
Amazing Web. When you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life? The Bible is God's word, but not everyone that reads the Bible understands. The Bible is God's manual for living. The Bible is profitable living. The Bible is a book of sources. Acts chapter 8, 31. Philip asked Ethiopian, you know, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I? Unless someone guides me, all you need to do is to search Peace Chapel Facebook Live. You can have the skills and proper interpretation and understanding to catapult your life to the next level. Peace Online Bible School is here to make you fall deeply in love with the Word of God. Join us this and every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and you will be equipped for glory. Peace. Shalom. James 5.30, the Bible says, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. As for the apostles, in their challenges, Acts chapter 4, they prayed and God gave them power to do his ministry. Again, because of prayer and the word, their church grew. There are many people in their time of challenges, all they do is to cry and shed tears and talk to people about their challenges. But no human being can help you. Help come from Jehovah, Psalm 121 verse 1. Join Peter Pooh International and Bishop Adolfo from Monday to Friday, 6.30 a.m. daily up to 7. On Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. up to 7.30 a.m. All you need to do is search Peter Chapel. Facebook Live, I am Paibo. My name is Paye. I am 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 Paye.